All right, everybody, it's uh, actually the first day of February, February 1st, and we're reading through the Gospel of Mark, we're at chapter 6 now, the beginning. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary? the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon, and not his sisters here with us, and they took offense at him. Yeah, that's the big stumbling block for some people, when, particularly uh, our other Christian brothers and sisters, when they hear this. Hmm? All right, so in this reading, it's, um, people say, wait, wait a minute, did Jesus have brothers and sisters? Well, let me just take a, I'm sure, you know, by the way, that those great saints of yesteryear, centuries ago, I th when they read the Bible, I don't think they did. If they saw that, we're like, oh, look at that. I never noticed that. They all noticed it. They all saw it. Okay. So no surprise. But here we, here we go. Look at, we look at when uh, Jesus was crucified in the Gospel of Matthew, that is. The names, the woman who followed him to death was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of, of the sons of Zebedee. He read that in chapter 27, I think, verse 56. Here we see James and Joseph, two of the men called the brothers of Jesus, as the sons of another Mary. If this Mary were the mother of Jesus, it would not make sense for the gospel writer to identify her as the mother of minor characters and not the main character. Hence, we can suppose that these two men were not Jesus' blood brothers. And besides, the term brothers has a broader use in the... In the in the scriptures. It's bigger than, bigger than the term that we see, you know, understand as a child of the same parent. It is likely the so-called brothers of Jesus were actually his cousins. Numerous places in the Greek Septuag Septuagint translation of the Old Testament and the original Greek New Testament explicitly uses the term, right, to describe relationships between the people who do not have the same parents. Look at Genesis chapter 13, 8, okay, and Acts chapter 11 and 1. So anyway, one may understandably find it odd that a woman planning to get married would remain a virgin. Nevertheless, this practice was not alien to the Jews of, in classical antiquity. As a Catholic scripture scholar, Brant Petrie points out, the ancient collection of the Jewish traditions known as the Mishnah, about 200 AD, contains explicit references to married Jewish men and women taking vows to abstain from ordinary marital relationships. While the life of Mary and the completion of the Mishnah are separated by 150 years, it's not implausible that Mary and Joseph participated in that practice. Anyway, so I, I, and besides, it just makes sense to me that Mary, who gave birth to the Savior, hmm. this is special this, and even having children, it'd be a little awkward that she is consecrated to God, devoted her life only to Jesus. Amen. <laughs>